It is time. Hello, everyone, and welcome to uh, Sunday. Sunday. It's Sunday. It's been, you know, it's it's our day off. Um, last week we watched the Fellowship of the Ring. I'm sure some of you have been looking forward to this vlog day because we're continuing on this Lord of the Rings adventure. Um, we've had a you know a pretty good day so far. Just finished dinner. Yeah. Uh, we've got a, a nice selection of snacks. I plan on probably pausing this movie multiple times Your mom because made cheesecake filled strawberries. Oh yeah, stick around after the movie because we got to show that off. We got to try those. Mm -hmm. um, I'm looking forward to that. That's going to be our treat for finishing the film. This movie is longer than the last one. Um, we are starting earlier. Last time we started, I think it was after 11 p.m. We're starting at 9:30, which is still late, but is you know far more uh, doable. Um, than, than last year, last year, <laughs> last week, than last week. As a reminder, uh, I have very limited, um, experience with the Lord of the Rings. I did see Fellowship of the Ring and I actually did see the two towers on DVD years and years and years ago. I got to tell you, I don't remember anything about the two towers. Um, I don't know if that was just going on in the background of something wherever I was. I remember that there are trees. There's like a, a group of alive trees I don't know what side they're on. I just know that there are a group you of alive. I just know they exist. I just know that they're in the film, and I honestly don't know anything else. And I think this film is the Boiler Masham Stick Him in the Stew, if only for the fact that that wasn't in the first one. But I also don't know if I Did know. Did you ever see that they're taking the hobbits to Isengard? That's back a, in the day. That was like yeah. It, it was, was like a, a turned, remix. It turned into a song. Yeah, that's this one too. Okay. All right, so yeah, there's some things I'm not sure if they're memes or if I've seen it. It's the the line is blurred. Anyway, for all intents and purposes, this will be essentially like my first viewing. So um, there will be spoilers when we're done with the movie, and I'm I'm talking about it. So if you haven't seen Lord of the Rings, this is your chance to stop. All right, let's pause that. Uh, we beat the movie. We beat it. We watched. The Finished? whole thing, yeah. Mm -hmm. We watched the whole thing. Even Kep watched the whole thing. I mean, I, I think he was actually asleep for a lot of it, but you know, he he did his best. So, man, I'm gonna. So what I'm gonna try and do. I think folks have always enjoyed when I try to like recap what happens from about something like from the start, mm -hmm. especially a movie like this where there's like a lot going on. There's so much going on. Most. <sighs> This, this movie was, it, it wasn't necessarily hard. I mean, it was. It was a little harder to follow. There's a few reasons it was harder to follow. Um, first reason, there's like four movies happening at once. Because all of the characters are like broken. Because like in the first movie, like for a lot of it. They're all together. They're all together. There's parts that they jump around. But, they, you know, it's not like Two Towers. Two Towers is like. We're following Frodo and Sam. Uh huh. We're following Tizzle and Whizzle. Mm hmm. We're following um, Gandalf mm -hmm. a little bit. And then Gandalf joins up with uh, Aragorn, Legolas, and Gimli, who are dealing with another person. And then, like, there's another, like, it, there's, like, we keep jumping back and forth to other characters amidst all of that, too. And then sometimes there's many jumps where, like, because we're watching extended editions and some of this was probably extended, but like there was parts where we jumped back in time to explain certain things. There's just a lot of going back and forth. And the problem when you have a movie that is uh, approximately 30 hours long is that we would jump away from characters and scenes mm -hmm. for like 45 minutes. So by the time we came back to Sam and Frodo, I was like, oh yeah. That guy is important. He's like, got the ring. That's, that's pretty important. What were they doing again? And then, oh, yeah, they were here. And then, it'd be, and then like an hour would go by and we'd get back to Tizzle and Whizzle, who have been... Tizzle and Whizzle rode in a tree the entire movie. The concept of time in this film does not make any sense. There's, We'll jump to characters that are like, they're sleeping. There's been like multiple sleep cycles. Then we come back to Tizzle and Whizzle, who are still like riding in the tree. And I'm like, how many days were y'all up in that tree? 
Like, there's a shot where they're on the ground, and it's like, the tree's like, hey, you sleep here. And they're like, okay. But, like, there's a lot of other times where time has clearly passed, and they're just chilling in that tree. I mean, you would get, like, bed sores, but with a tree. Anyway, so, um, the, I, it, the movie's so long, I don't even really remember, like, the beginning of it. But um, we got to, I know that the very, very start was that we, like, recap what happened to Gandalf. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay. Because, like, one of the things I remember, I, I said at the very beginning of this, one of the things I remembered is I remembered that there were trees. And I did, rem there was one other thing I remembered, but I didn't remember it until I saw it. I remembered that Gandalf comes back as Gandalf the White. Yeah. I didn't understand the significance of that. To be honest, I still sort of don't. It, it. The way that they explain it all basically makes it sound like wizards are some sort of like god, god level creatures. They're some sort of space thing. I don't know. And like, there's clearly some other higher powered, like pulling some strings. Feels like, uh, feels like the G Man in Half Life. Like, there's clearly some stuff going on behind the scenes. It probably would also answer, like, why the wizards got all this power, but they don't ever use it. Even in the final friggin' battle, Gandalf's like, I'm back, everybody. Here I am. Anyway, I'm gonna hit you with the blunt side of this stick. And I'm like, just use your wizard powers. I know you got them. You, you fought. Know the G Man can't, like, interfere a lot. I know, I know. There's, like, again, there's something going on, but they don't explain that to us. I'm, I'm getting I'm ahead sure of myself. I'm sure they explain it in another book that I didn't read. So here's one of the things I, that w ended up being really confusing for me, and this kind of this kind of fell into a similar situation of the first film, where like I had to pause the movie a bunch and be like, "Man, what's going on?" I did that a bunch in this in this film as well, especially once we started getting into the Rohan stuff, because my understanding was that whenever uh, whenever we saw the the king, I was like, "Oh." That's Bjorn's dad. And Mal was like, no, that's not Bjorn's dad. And I was like, well, why isn't it Bjorn's dad? Why would you take the time and be like, there's a kingdom of men and, the, and Bjorn is the, the son of the king. And you go through all this crap in the first film explaining all this stuff. And we get into the second film, they're like, here's the king. And you're like, that's the king. And then his son comes back and it's not Bjorn. And you're like, well, what's going on? Where's Bjorn? Is that, that's not Bjorn? And there's like all of these new characters all of a sudden. And the, and the movie's like, all right, now you remember the 400 characters from the first film? We've got another 400. They're all important and you need to know all of them right now. And I'm like, dear God, I'm like trying to follow along. And every, I kept trying to pull myself away from the fact that that wasn't Bjorn's dad. And it was really hard. And it's not until like in the last third hour of the movie that they're like, Here's, okay. Bjorn's dad. Here's Bjorn's dad. And also Bjorn had a brother and he's important. And I'm like, oh my God, there's just so much going on. I don't know. It was, this movie was much harder to follow. This one to me feels like a bridge between the first one and the second one. You mean the first one and the third one? That's what I meant. Okay. Well, yeah, that's what the middle does. Yeah. It just. Also, the last hour of this movie is insane. I, the budget for this the budget for this movie must have been just crazy in general because there's so much stuff going on but like the last hour is just a battle three battles and in my when when I was thinking back to this movie I, re, I was like I remember the, like the end is like a fight but I didn't realize it's like an hour long and it's not a fight it's three fights because there's a fight going on in Helm's Deep and I knew that the trees fought and I assumed that the trees showed up at Helm's Deep to help. Mm -hmm. No, they go to Isengard. I Isengard to throw rocks. And I'm like, what the crap? And the, the stupid hobbits, Tizzle and Wizzle, are in the tree. They spent the whole movie in the tree. The whole movie. They, the poor tree, like, put them down one time so they could drink the, the magic inch water to grow three inches, and then they got back in the tree. They didn't do anything. I continue to believe that they were not integral to the story in any way, shape, or form, and they should have been killed in the first film. They should have killed Tizzle and Whistle should have ran home, and that should have just been the end of that. Anyway, so what was the other thing that happened? Um, oh, there's three battles. So what's the third one? The third one... There was, Bjorn's brother. Yeah, oh yeah. So yeah, they finally get around to showing Bjorn's, uh, uh, Bjorn's brother and Bjorn's dad. 
So they finally do all of that. And then by the time they get the hobbits and they bring them there, there's a battle going on there. So there are literally three battles going on and we have to keep jumping between them. And I'm like, this is just so much. Again, it's just like, there's so much happening in this film. And I haven't even talked about Gollum, who who is a huge integral part of the, the story and is helping like lead the story forward. And like I've I've just gushed about everything else and that I haven't even like talked about him at all, and he's super super important. Anyway, it was good. It's good. I liked it. Um, you know, it's. I don't know that they could have made it less confusing. I guess they just, you know, because whenever you jump, whenever you go to a scene and you're 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 like in the scene and you're doing a lot in the scene, you have to stay within that that scene for like a while and then the problem is you get stuck in that scene for a long time so by the time you jump around god forbid you have three different things you're doing which in this movie you did so you spend some time on one you spend some time on two by the time you get to three it's been so long you're like oh my god that's right these folks it's just there was there's a lot man there was a whole lot and i liked it i did like it it's it's weird because like watching last week, I just remember thinking when we finished, I was like, man, I want to watch like the next one now, which I couldn't do because it was like, you know, four in the morning. Um, and even now, I can't, we can't watch the next one now because it's probably also uh, almost two, two in the morning. So, you know, we can't watch it. But like I want I want to know what happens. The Ret- Return of the King is the one I haven't seen at all. I have no idea how this movie ends. I have no idea how the series ends. I literally do not know. I don't actually know. I'm someone that has not been spoiled in 20 years. So I'm looking forward to seeing it next week. It'll be fun. But like, I really want to, I'm, I'm, I'm invested. It's, it's really cool because, and I think I mentioned this last week, there's very few movies that I get to feel like invested in and the, um, get absorbed into the story. Yeah. Get absorbed and not get caught up in, filmmaking technique it happens here a little bit um you know it's it's weird because like for the time Gollum and all just all the special effects like looked really good but it's 20 years later and like it's still fine but it's it's not it's not what we have today like technology has actually jumped a lot and um you know it when 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 Gollum's on screen or at least at the very beginning when he was, I was like, like, oh man, you are a, a digital thing on the screen. But I got used to it. I got used to it. But uh, yeah, I, I don't know. There's there's a lot that I could just talk about for a long time, but um, I'll spare you and just say, it was good. I enjoyed it. There are too many characters. There are too many, t- there are too many characters and there are too many towns and there are too many provinces. And there are too many whatever. Um, oh, and I don't like that Saruman has a henchman now. <laughs> like Saruman, like again, and they were just dropping, they were just dropping new characters like flies, man. Like they were like, hey, this guy is important, and also this guy. Did you know that this guy also and this has this girl. guy? And there's just so many people. And when they went all this, I was so confused by the king thing. I was still trying to like wrap my mind around this isn't this isn't Bjorn's dad. And then all of a sudden it's like, now there's this guy and he's clearly evil because he just looks evil. And I'm like, Wait, well, that guy is evil. And then I thought, okay, well, once every, once Gandalf came in and he did, that was, it was a really good part of the film whenever Gandalf like went, told him he had to keep the walking stick and he does like a tiny wink. I was like, oh, that's fine. <laughs> so anyway, so they get in and he, he gets the demon out of the dude. And then the king comes back to life, and he's, like, going to go, I thought he was going to kill him. But then, you know, all the goody two-shoe people are like, don't kill anybody. We don't want to kill anybody. And I'm like, y'all were slaughtering people left and right. I don't see what the difference between this one fella is. Just kill him. Anyway, so he runs off and goes into the tower, and then he becomes a little henchman. And I'm like, oh, I hate henchmen so much. The little guy standing there behind Saruman, like, Saruman, let me help. Saruman, let me massage your soldiers. Saruman, let me be participate. Sorry, I forgot about that part. That part really that that henchman is basically evil Tizwin Whizzle, and that's why I'm like, I don't want you in the movie. I just just get killed faster. 
however we can accommodate your death would be great. Anyway, okay, I'm done. I could really, I'll, I'll keep remembering things and then this vlog will never end, but, um. Strawberries? Yeah, yeah, so, uh, it's a quick explanation. My mom, uh, dropped off, she dropped off a little thing of soup, mm -hmm. actually. She dropped off some soup, but she also dropped off two strawberries, chocolate-covered strawberries, and she had read, uh, uh, Pinterest a recipe. Pinterest recipe, and they're filled with cheesecake, mm -hmm. which doesn't even seem possible. That's like against science or something, but we're going to try them out and uh, see what they taste like. All right. These things, they look like serious business, man. That is wild. That is absolutely wild. So the stem's been removed. Mm-hmm. They're hollowed out. So they're, they're hollowed out, and all they got in them is cheesecake. I also haven't had cheesecake in forever. Oh, I ate all the cheesecake in one bite. Oops. Mmm. I mean... See, I started on the other end, and I haven't gotten cheesecake yet. Well, I ate, well, literally, like, sucked all the cheesecake out in the first bite. I mean, it's good, because cheesecake is good. They're messy. Mm -hmm. As one might imagine. Okay. This is good, though. Uh, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. As always, let's be back tomorrow, shall we? Return of the King, next week. It's going to be good, and also even longer. <laughs>